happy Monday. Welcome back um, as we have our time of coffee together this week. And, you know, we have this great gospel text uh, with our, uh, this, the, well, the song I think about, a congregation I used to serve, uh, one of the gospel acclamations they would use, the song you sang before the, the gospel's read is, Lord, let my heart be good soil. That's the first thing I always think of with this, right? Lord, um, Lord, let my heart be good soil. Open to the seed of your word. Lord, let my heart be good soil. Where love is grown and peace is understood. Anyway, there's more, but that's the refrain. It, it always made me think of, this text was made me think of that, right? Um, the, we ask God to cultivate the the hearts, the soil of our, our hearts, who we are as, as a person. What it is we value, believe. And so I was thinking for our theme this week with coffee, our coffee devotionals, and I was thinking this could be a theme we could continue for a while because we have weeks of seeds, farming, growing parables from Jesus in this Gospel of Matthew. Actually, pretty much the rest of the month of July, um, we're going to have a lot of seeds. <laughs> a lot of seeds. A lot of growing. Which is clearly it's a good metaphor. And I, I, it got me thinking, what, what seeds does God plant in our hearts, in our soil? Right? Well, the seed of Scripture is one of them. And so for this week, I was thinking about going through um, some passages that are good seeds for me. Right? Passages that I found myself coming back to. Um, ones that speak to me. Uh, and then some of those will change at different stages and such of, of life. But I don't know. I thought that would be a, a nice way. And I hope that um, perhaps those scripture passages will, will speak to you too and help cultivate that seed of faith in the soil of your heart. And then I was thinking what we can do. Um, what we can do is we can have if you have passages that, that resonate with you, some of your favorites, ones that, that speak um, to your lived faith experience, right? Let's send those in, right? Send them to me, and I can I can do um, future coffee devotionals together where we are talking about passages that are meaningful to all of us, right? So, I'll lead the way this week. I won't ask you to do anything I won't do myself, right? Um, I'll lead the way this week with... Four additional passages now. Granted, whittling it down to four. I think you'll come to find. It's hard. <laughs> um, so the four that I fancy at the moment that I think we haven't really covered too fully during this time. I mean, there might have been a video at some point. It's hard. We have hundreds of them now. But anyway, um, I think that there are four that are good right now. That are speaking to me in this moment, right? Um, so yeah, I, if you have one, if you have multiple, send them my way. But in the meantime, while you were working on it, thinking about it, praying on it, reflecting, what are, what are the, the what are some parts of God's scripture that, that speak to my heart? Um, you know, I I start with this one, this text from yesterday. Um, this idea that soil is very important. I learned this in my first call serving in a um, rural small town setting. I guess I knew, you know, from biology or class or, you know, elementary school growing up, you know, put the seed in the ground, you give it water, sunshine, you know, it makes it happy, blah, 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 weed around it. I didn't realize how important soil was. Illinois has been blessed with beautiful, uh, fertile soil. <clears throat> it puts a perspective on it that even though God plants the seed of faith, what kind of soil are we, um, what kind of soil do we, you know, does our lived life reflect? Are we living a life where the seed of faith can thrive? Or are there things that are choking it out? Are there things that are fighting for the, the water and the sunshine, the nutrition from that, that seed, right? Um, can our soils change over time? Absolutely. I think it's the part of the, the, the text that gets missed a lot. And that's why it's kind of resonating with me right now. Just because you have rocky soil now doesn't mean you can't have fertile soil later. Unfortunately, vice versa. But um, we can cultivate soil. Right? Get the rototiller out, if you will. <laughs> the heavenly rototiller. Right? That's a, um, we can make the soil more fertile. 
God can make this a little more for me. Uh, we're not set, and, and I don't think Jesus' words are meant to be we're set in, in this soil or that, and that's it. Life's a journey. Face a journey. Soil can get better. There's room for growth. I think there's a reason Jesus keeps coming back to these themes. Growth. God nurturing, right? God is actively part of this process. We're actively part of this process. It's the soil. Uh, together we grow. Anyway, so that'll start us off this week. Um, tune in for the other four days of devotional, and I'll have a little devotional for us and some of my uh, texts that are resonating with me right now. Lord, let my heart be good soil.